Hey y'all, look at this food. Fried lobster tail shrimp and crab fried rice. <clears throat> the rice is kind of dry. I've been wanting this prep lobster tail. I don't think I know. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, babe. My life is in shambles. Right. I'm trying to stay positive here, but it's becoming challenging at this point because every time I get a few steps ahead, I keep getting knocked back on. It's like... It seems like life just don't want me to win at any cost. Um, I don't know why life is throwing me these curves right now because I don't need it like I'm not <laughs> in the best space like I literally just had a meltdown the other day and now I'm being hit with this at the last minute like the Airbnb I'm staying in Somebody booked it for the rest of the year. I'm literally living paycheck to paycheck. So. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to find another I don't have a lot of money Maybe I do need to be homeless. Living in my core just so I can. Revisit life again or something. I don't fucking know, but. Shit's stressing me out.
I wish I had something I can check or something like. <sighs> Where the worst stuff always happened to good people. I just mind their fucking business. Like, like I don't know. I just thought I was so shady. I heard like. And then there's another room that she got, but that one's way more. It's like $300 a week. I don't have that money right now. I mean, I'm gonna have to try to figure something out so I can make this money. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what else to do. Home cut. Good credit. So I know I can't take out no loan. I really might have to live out my car for like a week or so. But it's best for me to be out this house anyway. But tomorrow, <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't really talk the video. I hope y'all know I was tearing this up because, like, I don't know. I just, I'm really thinking hard, like, what I need to do. Like, this is so last minute. Like, <sighs> so I have an update. Um, so I talked to the lady from here and she has another room available and she said I could stay there at the same rate as this one. It has its own bathroom, but I was literally begging to God, <laughs> my spirit guides, I said, I'm not testing my faith. I'm really not. I'm not testing my faith because I know I believe in God. I have faith in my spirit guides, but please show up for me. And they did. Like, I haven't, I got an email that I start back with the post office, a good paying job. And it's near my cousin's house, which is only like 18 minutes away. Like, y'all, if y'all don't fucking believe that there's a God, 
If y'all don't believe that there's a higher power with divinely orchestrates things, you are missing out. There's a whole spiritual realm working unseen. And I'm just so thankful that I, I remain faithful and, and remain steadfast in my faith. It's so important because you can get sidetracked and get discouraged and ready to give up. And I literally was on my last limb and I pleaded out to him. Like, I just want to cry all night. <laughs> like, I'm so thankful. Like, these are tears of joy. <laughs> these are tears of just being grateful. <sighs> and thankful, because these past couple of weeks have been rough on me rough and you know people give up people kill themselves people go crazy they go on drugs all of this all of that and just don't give up and don't stop believing in yourself and, and don't stop believing in God he it's, it's, he's real